Welcome back for on the city of Emerald working to beautify downtown and make it a more desirable place for walking and riding fanatics, locals and tourists. And they're turning to public murals to help out. KAMR local forest Jack Kessler talks to the people behind the art in today's Destination Texas. And they're helping make Amarillo more of a destination. Center City of Amarillo Executive Director Beth Duke says as murals emerge in Amarillo, there seems to be a push all across the nation for them. Public art is something everyone can enjoy, but the cost of a bronze sculpture or a permanent installation like that is so high that it can be a little cost prohibitive, where uh, depending on the size of the wall and the, and the muralist, you can have a, a mural on almost any wall. Duke adds the city of Amarillo has a beautification mural grant, giving the recipients the ability to receive reimbursements for up to 50% of the cost for a mural on their property. A local nonprofit helping with creating some of the murals around the city is Blank Spaces, whose goal is to provide opportunities for young artists. Project manager with Blank Spaces, Shonda O'Neill, says it's exciting to show kids a love and appreciation for art. I, I want them to be able to come and contribute to their community and contribute and use their art and use their talents and everything to um, make where they live a better place. Andrew Hall, founder of the Hoodoo Mural Festival, which is entering its third year, says the best part of these murals is you don't need a ticket to see these great pieces of art. We're creating this, this gallery and it's been the best part about doing this is seeing how our community is using these canvases, these backdrops. You see them from, uh, you see it from graduation pictures. I've seen little girls in ballerina outfits um, doing them there as their kind of profile pictures. I've seen big burly muscle guys with their muscle cars in front of these murals showing off their hot rod, but also using the mural as the background. Hall says they will be holding the next festival in October. Artists have two weeks to complete their artwork beforehand. He says the only prerequisite, keep it inspirational. In Amarillo, Jack Kessler, KMR Local 4 News. On Saturday, Center City is hosting its first ever mural run. For details and a full list of murals and where they're located, head over to our website. That's where the story continues tonight. MyHighPlains.com.